One, trap consecutive quantities of gas in some types of enclosure. Reduce the volume. Increase the pressure. Then, push the compressed gas out of the enclosure. Two, trap consecutive quantities of gas in some types of enclosure. Carried without volume change to the discharge opening. Compress the gas by backflow from the discharge system. Then push the compressed gas out of the enclosure. 3. Gas compression by dynamic operation of an impeller or a bladed rotor which is rotating. 4. Entrain the gas in a high velocity jet of the same or another gas such as steam and convert the velocity of the gas into pressure in a diffuser. Compressors using methods 1 and 2 are in the intermittent class and are known as positive displacement compressors. Those using method 3 are known as dynamic compressors.